prayer and devotion in the silence of the morning. In loneliness and joy we serve the poor with gentle caring and loving heart. Say, Anthony,
Good evening, friends. Good evening, Father. Indeed. Today is a day to thank the Lord for all the wonders that He does in our lives. This whole month is dedicated to the heart of Jesus. And on this first Friday, we once again consecrate ourselves and our families to the heart of Jesus, that we may accept all that is happening in our little home and strengthen us to thank Him, to believe and trust in Him for all that has happened to us during the last month. And now we once again say, Yes, Lord, Surrendering ourselves that we may accept us and grant us the grace to accept all that is going to happen to us during this month. But with faith, we place ourselves and our families in the heart of Jesus. Thus today we are thanksgiving Mass in honor of Jesus, in honor of divine mercy of His and also in thanksgiving to St. Anthony. Today's Mass is offered by Josephine, Thomas and family, by Sebastian, Victor, Vincent, Devanesan, Matthews, Alvarez, Ashwin, Lionel, Edward, Jessica, Jennifer, Leandra, and purchase. Another thanks in Vaz by Augustine Vaz, by Jaya Lewis and family, by Maria Territ and family. Thanks in to Our Lady of Melanchthon, by Dominic Anthony. Thanks in to Sacred Heart, by Annie Francis, by Maria Xavier, and also by the Jury Manuel and family. Thanks in Mars by Salome Lewis, by Margaret Lewis and family. Thanks in the Divine Mercy for Josephine Mercy. Thanks in the Sacred Heart by Thomas Orica Swami and also by Terry Peters and family. And thanks in Mars in honor of St. Anthony by Vinita and Richard Benjamin and family. And we are sorry to inform you that Rita Thomas, mother of Chrissy and Elizabeth, our teacher, died this morning. May the Lord see to all the good that she had done, not only to the family, but in the church, that the Lord may grant her eternal rest. Then we have the sixth death anniversary of P.C. Thomas, husband of our auntie, Josephine Thomas. And the seventh day of Mass, also birthday remembrance of Teresa Fernandez of Pune, Mass offered by her sister, 
Josephine Thomas, and by Priya and Frank Alvarez. And we remember and pray for Jacob Simon, Mass offered by Jennifer and Jessica Frank. And we pray for all those who are still sick in the hospital. We have got Shimon Chandekar, surrendering all the sick, not only really in the parish, but throughout the country. Let us intercede with the Lord once again to grant us all good health of both the body and mind. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Yes, my friend. First Friday always reminds us of the love of the Father for the whole creation. Because He loved the world so much that He gave His only Son to be our Saviour, Emmanuel, God with us. We always say, if I had been at the time of Jesus, I would have done this, I would have done that, I could have walked with Him, I could have talked to Him. That's what we think. Only when Jesus was there and I was there. But we forget Jesus is there with us every day. He has left us the greatest memorial which we offer. And He has told us, I am going to be with you always. So all that you wanted to do at the time of Jesus, the time has not got over. The time is there with us to do all that Jesus is asking of you. But how will we recognize Him? You remember the Apostles? They all recognized Him after His resurrection from the dead. At the breaking of the bread, that is the Eucharistic table that we share in. These days we are sharing the breaking of the bread with the spiritual communion that you receive at home. Very soon, my dear friends, a day will come when all of us can be once again in the church physically present to share in the breaking of the bread. But remember always, this Jesus loved you so much that because of our faults and our failures and our sins, He died for you and for me. And His death is for all time. So today, as we partake in the sacrifice of love, let us tell Jesus that we are sorry. There are great things and thoughts that I will do for Jesus. But many a time we have failed in doing it. Let all of us who receive Jesus spiritually every time in our lives Make us always worthy, worthy of His love by doing all the good that He wants you to do for the people around us. And now in order to prepare ourselves to offer this sacrifice of love, let us call to mind our sins and purify our death. We confess together I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, above worthy, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. So Lord, we pray that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled with our devotion to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Tobit. Thou hast afflicted me, but thou hast had mercy upon me. Here I see my son, Tobias. Anna sat looking intently down the road for her son, and she caught sight of him coming and said to his father, Behold, your son is coming, and so is the man who went with him. Raphael said, I know, Tobias, that your father will open his eyes. You therefore must anoint his eyes with a gall, and when they smack, he will rub them and will cause the white flames to fall away, and he will see you. Then Anna ran to meet them and embraced her son and said to him, I have seen you, my child. Now I am ready to die. And they both wept. Tobit started towards the door and stumbled. But his son ran to him and took hold of his father. And he sprinkled the gall upon his father's eyes, saying, be of good cheer, Father. And when his eyes began to smart, he rubbed them, and the white flames sculled off from the corners of his eyes. Then he saw his son and embraced him, and he wept and said, Blessed art thou, O God, and blessed is thy name forever, and blessed are all thy holy angels, for thou hast afflicted me, but thou hast had mercy upon me. Here I see my son, Tobias. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. My soul give praise to the Lord. Altogether, my soul give praise to the Lord. Alleluia! My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Your response? My, my soul, soul give praise to the Lord. It is He who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is He who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. Your response? My soul give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, 
who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the strangers and upholds the widow and orphans. Your response? My soul give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who loves the just, but trots the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Zion's God from age to age. Alleluia. Your response? My soul give praise to the Lord. Kindly rise for the acclamation. Can the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I put the enemies under thy feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how can he be his son? And the great throne heard him gladly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. 
Amen. Look, O oh Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you as an expiation of our offenses. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. Truly right and just are you in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God. For raise high on the cross. He gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the Christ sacrament, so that, won over by the open heart of our Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, and without end, we are clean. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered believing in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as 
to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, something that's worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let us silently pray for all those who have died in our family, especially for whom we are offering this Mass today. Let us remember Rita Thomas, P.C. Thomas, Teresa Fernandez, Victor than his mother. That the Lord in his goodness may grant them eternal rest. Now we pray for ourselves. Remember and pray for all the members in your family. Shall we pray for them? Pray for every member in your family. Yes, Lord, as we remember each one of them, we intercede that you grant us good health of both body and mind. The strength to believe in ourselves that God is walking with us and thus make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but but only say the word, and my my soul soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. compassion and love towards us. We ask you, loving Father, to be merciful to us and in your divine power take away from all over the world this grievous pandemic of coronavirus. Inspire all authorities to take effective measures to contain the disease. Help us to be alert and vigilant against coronavirus and to to follow all guidelines and directives. You You redeemed and saved us through the suffering and resurrection of Jesus. Help us not be discouraged, but to believe and hope that you will bring good out of this evil. Father, let your victory and glory shine through this deadly disease. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Communion and the sin. <clears throat> One of the soldiers opened his side with the lance, and at once there came food, blood, and water. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessing may almighty god bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you amen may you nourish always with his teachings of faith and make you persevere in holy deeds amen, amen. may he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace amen, amen. and may the blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit come upon you all and remain with your love and forever amen, amen. so dear friends go in peace the love and serve the lord thanks, thanks be to god, god. सबों के लिए महान दिन दिया गया है कि जब कलेशिया महीने के पहले इतवार शुक्रवार के दिन पवित्र हृदय के आदर में ये समय बिता रहे हैं प्रभु से निवेदन करते हुए दया याचना करते हुए हम उसकी स्तुति और गुणगान गाए और ये हमेशा हम सबों को उन्हीं की छाया में रखे आजकल तो हम लोग नबी ना प्रार्थना कर रहे हैं सेना के नीचे आकर भी तो अभी हम लोग सब मिलकर अपनी नबी ना प्रार्थना आरंभ करें सेना के नीचे आदर में all together for oh, why do we of your unity sublime example of poverty true mirror of humility resplendent star of sanctity o oh, glorious saint anthony who didst enjoy the sweet privilege of receiving into our arms the infant jesus i beseech thee to take me under thy powerful protection Thou in whom the power of working miracles shines forth among the other gifts of God, have pity upon me, 
and come to my aid in this my great need. अपने आप के लिए और अपने परिवार के लिए हम जीसस और सेनाथन से निवेदन करें। All together, cleanse my heart from every disorderly affection. Obtain for me a true confession of my sins and a great love of God and my neighbor. That so we God faithfully in this life, I may come to praise, enjoy, and bless Him eternally with Thee in paradise. Amen. Let us pray. O most merciful Jesus, who has glorified in an admirable manner thy holy confessor, St. Anthony, by continued miracles, give us the grace to feel assured that we shall obtain to his intercession and merits what we ask in confidence, who lives and reigns with God the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Consecration The fifth day Love of St. Anthony for God Let us consider the saint so full of love for his creator and without a single thought which might divert him from God. His heart was so detached from the things of the world that he could not find pleasure in anything that did not come from God or which did not belong to him. Let us desire in the mediation of St. Anthony to love God above all things so that our thoughts may be constantly directed towards heaven. Prayer O gentle oh, Saviour you alone are worthy of all the affections of our hearts, and yet, yet alas, we serve you only with the divine love. It is for you alone that we are created. Grant then, O Lord, that after the example of our saint, we may burn with love for you, and that our only happiness here below may be to serve you and live for you, who alone are worthy to possess our hearts. Practice, say three Our Fathers and Hail Marys in honor of the Sacred Heart to obtain the grace of a more perfect love of God. Litany of Saint Anthony Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ gracious hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Anthony, glory of Friars Minor, pray for us. Saint Anthony, lily of virginity, pray for us. Saint Anthony, gem of poverty, pray for us. Saint Anthony, example of obedience, pray for us. Saint Anthony, mirror of abstinence, pray for us. Saint Anthony, vessel of purity, pray for us. Saint Anthony, star of sanctity, pray for us. Saint Anthony, moral of conduct, pray for us. Saint Anthony, beauty of paradise, pray for us. Saint Anthony, ark of the testament, pray for us. Saint Anthony, keeper of the scriptures, pray for us. Saint Anthony, teacher of the truth, pray for us. Saint Anthony, preacher of the grace, pray for us. Saint Anthony, exterminator of vices, pray for us. Saint Anthony, planter of virtues, pray for us. Saint Anthony, conqueror of heretics, pray for us. Saint Anthony, terror to infidels, pray for us. 
Saint Anthony, consoler of the afflicted, pray for us. Saint Anthony, guardian of the conscience, pray for us. Saint Anthony, martyr in desire, pray for us. Saint Anthony, terror to the devils, pray for us. Saint Anthony, performer of miracles, pray for us. Saint Anthony, finder of lost things, pray for us. Saint Anthony, helper of all who invoke you, pray for us. Be merciful, spare us, O Lord. Be merciful, hear us, O Lord. From all evil, deliver us, O Lord. From all sin, deliver us, O Lord. From the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Lord. From pestilence, famine, and war, deliver us, O Lord. From eternal death, deliver us, O Lord. Through the merits of Saint Anthony, deliver us, O Lord. Through his ardent charity, deliver us, O Lord. Through his zealous preaching, deliver us, O Lord. Through his desire of martyrdom, Deliver us, O Lord. Through his strict observance of obedience, poverty, and chastity. Deliver us, O Lord. On the day of judgment. Deliver us, O Lord. We sinners. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe to lead us to true penance. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe to inflame us with divine love. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe to let us ever enjoy the protection of Saint Anthony. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe to give us, by the merits of Saint Anthony, the gift of true contrition, humility, and contemplation. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe us the grace through the intercession of Saint Anthony to overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe the assistance of Saint Anthony to all who invoke him in their necessities. We beseech you, hear us. That you vouchsafe graciously hear us, Son of God. We beseech you, hear us. Lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. Hear us, O Lord. Lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Pray for us, O blessed Anthony, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who did glorify your faithful confessor, Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession to Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall not take the prayer of consecration of our family to the heart of Jesus. And we intercede with Jesus to stay with us, especially in this time of the pandemic. Altogether, O Saint Heart of Jesus, Jesus, who did manifest to Saint Margaret Mary, the desire of reigning in Christian families. We today wish to proclaim thy most complete reunion over our home. We would live in future with thy life. We would cause to flourish in our midst those virtues to which thou hast promised peace here below. We would banish far from us the spirit of the world which thou hast thirst, and, and thou shalt reign over our minds in the simplicity of our faith, and over our hearts by the whole heart of love, which we shall burn for thee, the flame of which we shall keep alive by the frequent reception of the divine Eucharist. Deign, O divine heart, to preside over our gatherings, to bless our enterprises, both spiritual and temporal, to despair our cares, to sanctify our joys, to alleviate our sufferings, if ever one or other of us should have the misfortune to afflict me. Remind him, O heart of Jesus, that thou art good and merciful to the penitent sinner, and when the hour of separation strikes, when, when death shall come to cast mourning in our midst, we will all, both those who go and those 
and those who stay be submissive to thy eternal decrees. We will console ourselves with the thought that the day will come when the entire family reunited in heaven can sing forever thy glories and thy mercies. May the immaculate heart of Mary and the glorious patriarch Saint Joseph present the song consecration to thee and keep it in our minds all the days of our life. All glory to the heart of Jesus, sweet heart of Jesus, be my love. Immaculate heart of Mary, be my salvation. Glorious Saint Joseph, protect our families. Saint Margaret Mary, pray for us. Let us now silently present all our petitions to the Divine Mercy, interceding from the Merciful Lord to be merciful on all those who have died. And show him merciful love for all of us who trust in him. May our trust in you, Jesus, bless us and our families. We shall not take the hymn of benediction. Sacrament and left us a memorial of that passion. Grant us, we ask you, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruit of your redemption. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit of the blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. 
Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. So dear friends, thank you for joining us at today's celebration. I thank the team for getting it organized. And we pray to St. Anthony that he may continue in the seat for us. We'd like to thank Vinita and the church for the prasad that they send every day which you offer at this Mass in honor of St. Anthony, and we also eat it together. So thank you, Vinita. It is very tasty, and God bless you. And dear friends, we only ask you to pray for Rita Thomas, that seeing all the good that she has done for Jesus through us, may be a blessing for her family. May the family be consoled and may the love of Mother Mary be with them. So God bless you all. Take care and have a nice day. Thank you.